Hi, I'm Lindsay with American Patchwork and Quilting, and today our staff is going to share some tips for keeping your workspace clean. So I'm here in my home sewing space, and I know what you're thinking. Do you even use this space? Well, I personally am a little bit of a neat freak, and I like to be very organized. So my space always looks this clean, except when I'm sewing. So here's my tip for you. When you're done sewing for the day, just take two to three minutes to clean up your space. It's not anything fancy. You can see right over here, I just have a tray on my sewing room, or my sewing space. Um, that's where I just stick all my tools so that I always know where they are when I come to sew the next day. I also like to put my projects away when I'm done working on them. That way, when I come in the next day, it's like a fresh start and I can move between projects really easily without having to pick everything up. And a little bonus tip for you. I like to keep the vacuum cleaner close to my sewing room. I have allergies, so all of the dust from the thread and the fabric gets in the air. So I like to vacuum, just do a quick vacuum of the space every few days to help protect my lungs and keep all the dust off my fabric. Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm gonna share my favorite tip for keeping my sewing room organized. I find clear containers to be super helpful when trying to stay organized in your sewing room because you can see into each individual container and like if I pull these pins out and use them for a project, I know that when I'm done, I can put them right back in here because they have a designated home. So I just have a bunch of little notions in each clear container and I even like to use clear bins to organize my fabric scraps. I sort them by color and then when I'm looking for a certain color in my closet, I can just easily see through each bin which color is in which container. Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm here in my home sewing room to share with you one of my favorite storage tips. Here's a look at my sewing space. I'm so grateful to have a dedicated room all for crafting and sewing in, but it is quite small. Um, I have one little table in here that I like to keep my machine on, but other than that, I like to keep it pretty clear of clutter. So most of my notions I end up hanging over here on the wall, and here I have uh, springs from a vintage baby crib that I've repurposed. I've spray painted it black and just mounted it vertically on the wall here. And then I use things like S hooks to hang some of my favorite notions off of. Down here I have some rulers hanging off S hooks. Um, over here I've used some clamps to hang some patterns that I'm currently working on. And down here at the bottom I have my spray starch hanging there along with some binding I just want to uh, keep track of. And to finish it all off I've also added some plants along the side for a pop of color. I'm Jody Sanders, editor of American Patchwork and Quilting Magazine, and I want to share with you today one of my favorite organizing hacks, and that's this Ducks organizer. Um, you can get them in lots of different sizes and colors. I like this one because it's just kind of neutral, sits on my table, fits in well with everything. So let me show you what I keep in here and try and keep organized so I don't have everything spread out all over my table. So when you're working, you're going to want to have your pattern, so it might be in a magazine, maybe a book. Either way, those both fit really nicely in here. You also might have a cutting mat that's a small one. You want to get it up out of the way sometimes, so that's a nice place for that to be. Also, uh, it fits folders really well, so if you need pattern pieces or foundation paper pieces that you need to have organized, that's good to have in those folders. Now, we know with our die cutting systems that we're not supposed to store them this way. They need to be stored vertically, so this is perfect for that. And then finally, any rulers that you might have. The thing that I like about this organizer is that it does have a little deeper between each of the rows, and so you can fit lots of things in each one. I hope you'll give it a try.